everybody, I hope you're having a nice day. So I'm here today to talk you through our newest ebook. My capsule wardrobe, Summer Dreaming, is here. I know so many of you have been waiting ages for this, so we're so excited that we are releasing it, and particularly so that we've been able to release it in the current situation. We've all been working really hard behind the scenes, but particularly our wonderful pattern and production manager, Nicole, who's worked tirelessly on this. So uh, the range includes five patterns, just like our previous eBooks do. And the five patterns work so well together. The idea is that they will give you the essential and perfect summer wardrobe. So um, I'm gonna talk you through all the patterns today and all the variations as well. Now this range is different from the last eBooks in that this uh, includes our newest extended size, size range. So the patterns go from size six all the way up to size 30, which is amazing. And the patterns are, there's five patterns. Um, they all have uh, lots and lots of detailed illustrations. And we're also adding some added extra tutorials onto um, our uh, Stitch School. So for those of you that want to have um, a bit of extra help with some of the trickier elements, you can. And the level of this ebook is really from beginner dressmaker to intermediate advanced. There are definitely some projects for everybody. So if you are a beginner, then we've got the skirts that you might be able to tackle first and then build your way up to the dresses um, and uh, the jumpsuit and then jacket. Those of you that are more experienced, you'll be able to mix up and have some easy quick makes and some more mindful sewing like the Sorrento denim jacket. So lots and lots of variety there for you and also mixtures of fabrics as well. So let's start talking through the individual patterns. So I am wearing the Ravello dress. This is the maxi version. And when I designed this, I designed it thinking of a maxi dress first. And then the other versions, which are different lengths, came from that. So this, literally without me bearing much, um, this is super simple. If you look at it, it's kind of grown on here, sleeve, um, almost like a kimono style sleeve. Um, lovely little turn up there for detail it's wrap as you can see there's little pleats here to get the shaping and there's a nice curved hem along the bottom which might be quite hard for you to see but there's a lovely kind of curved hem it's straight so it's it's super flattering there are darts in the back to add the shape as well but what i love about this you know i love a wrap dress i probably have designed almost as many wrap dresses as i have shirt dresses and what I love about wrap dresses though is that they are simple to fit and also it's just simple to put on um, and certainly in the summer there's not too much fuss going on you want things to be cool and simple and yeah comfortable to wear so this is the maxi version but it also comes in a, a dress a shorter dress version which is this one now this is an atelier brunette uh, um, cotton gauze which they very kindly gave to us um, for the um, shoot when we shot this in India. Um, so this sample is the shorter version. Um, I should just point out, you can see that there is a seam there, but we have since eliminated that seam, so you won't have a seam in your um, Ravello dress. But yeah, this one is kind of, I thought, more of a day dress that you can wear down to the park or out and about around the house, whatever. Then we've got this version, which is the beach wrap cover up. So I'm certainly out in the paddling pool with Jasmine a lot at the moment. Um, we've both got our swimming costumes on and then we'll start doing other things. So Jazzy is obviously very comfortable pottering around in just her swimming costume, but I feel like I want to have something else on. So I've been wearing this on the hotter days and uh, this is in a linen and it's super comfortable and cool and makes me feel a little bit more covered up and a little bit chicer. And then we've got the version in the top, which I absolutely love. Now, my favorite version of this in terms of dress is, is the one that I'm wearing, but this was a lovely kind of extra added design that I kind of came up with post um, thinking of this and I absolutely love it. You can wrap it round and tie it and the, the idea is it's got the bow here. You can shorten this if you don't want it to be super long and um, like making a feature of it and you can also tie it if you make the little tie long enough so that you tie it at the back and it keeps it all very simple at the front and this works beautifully with all of the other separates in the collection so let's have a look at the other patterns um, 
I should say this is definitely um, a, a good project for an advanced beginner. Um, it's lovely and simple. There's no challenges with this pattern. In fact, there, something we should say is there are no zips in our ebook. Wasn't intentional. That was not something I'd set my mind on, but just so happens that there are no zips in this ebook. So let's have a look at the Alba skirt, which is definitely the simplest pattern in the ebook. We have two versions. So version one um, with the frill. So this is meant to be, have a little bit more romanticism about it. This reminds me of our Eve dress, which is one of our most popular summer um, patterns. I love the fact that um, it's got that dipped hem at the back, slightly raised at the front, super flat, flattering and elegant, super cool. And I have wanted a wrap dress, sorry, a wrap skirt for a long time. So I'm really pleased that I now have got a pattern in the collection for that. And this is it. Sorry, it's a little bit crumpled. Um, a little bit, um, the simpler version with it, uh, without the frill. Very simple, lovely day skirt. And also I will be wearing this over my swimming costume as well. So I might keep my swimming costume on and then just wrap this over. You know, this could also be a beach wrap. Personally, you know, some of us feel more comfortable covering up our top half and other feels feel more comfortable covering up the bottom half. So why not do that? Um, so that is the Alba skirt, nice and simple, no zips. Let's look at the uh, Sienna, which is a, um, a dress primarily. That's where the design started. So this is here, here it is in a cotton lawn. Lovely, really pretty day dress. This is something that I would wear in the day. I'd, on a hot summer's day, I'd wear it to work. I'd wear it for a picnic. Um, really lovely and cool. And here it is in a slightly different, this is in viscose. Um, as you can see, it buttons all the way up and down the front. That's how you get in it. It's got patch pockets um, and it's a panelled bodice that's lovely and fitted. And what makes it super fitted is this, which is really quite special. This is our shearing um, elastic panel that you make separately and then insert in. And that's what makes it um, fit. And that makes it easier to fit as well. Now, the straps on these are both narrow, but we also have done a wider strap. So those of you that want to, say, cover a bra strap or just feel more comfortable with a wider strap, that is an option. Now, like most of our ebook patterns, there's versions to everything. So you can see that's exactly the same pattern or in terms of versions, but it looks very different in different fabrics. Here it is as a skirt. So nice, simple project. Good again for beginners. Here is the skirt without any patch pockets. Um, and that looks certainly a bit more vintage. And then here it is with patch pockets, which I think makes it a little bit more contemporary. And you can see if you make the patch pockets in, in or rather the skirt in a uh, viscose, then they kind of have this lovely soft drapiness to the pockets, which I think is really lovely. So that is it as a skirt. And then you can also make just the top. So here we have the top. Now I know that is super cute and short, but the idea is that it will be paired with one of the other separates, which are all waisted. So how lovely does that look? A little bit more sophisticated. You could wear that with a nice black sandal and that would look lovely and chic. Or maybe you're out in the garden and you want to have, you don't want to put your bikini on. You don't want to be, um, yeah, you want to have just something um, cool on, but you can kind of have this as a little mini kind of crop top. But I do think it, you know, I designed it to wear it separately in a way with these. And so I have actually got a version here of it in the um, cotton um, embroidery on glass. There it is as a top and it's to go with the skirt. And that looks so lovely. And what makes it look extra lovely is pairing it with our Sorrento jacket, which is our classic, ultimate, beautiful top stitch savvy nah, top stitch savvy i'm not sure if that's a term but um loads of top stitching um our sorrento denim jacket and this i designed um making sure that it finished at the right length now i didn't want it to be super cropped because i can think that's not so practical but i also didn't want it to be too long so it is it is tailored in it does fit in come into the waist it finishes just below the waist and it works with everything so this is what you're putting on um, on top of everything if it's cooler if you want to make it a little bit more casual and play it down 
roll your sleeves up. I have done styling videos that will be up on our IGTV on our Instagram talking about in more detail how to wear them. But yeah, absolutely love this. And this is definitely a project to spend some time on and really get into the zone with your top stitching and probably best to work with an edge stitch foot. But we have also talked about top stitching in a video on our stitch school that will be up shortly. And uh, we are talking to you about the best ways of top stitching because that is important for that pattern. We've also done a shearing elastic one as well. So if you're a member of stitch school, there's some added videos coming your way to help you with the ebook patterns. And then, so uh, the last pattern in the collection, or not last, but the one that I haven't mentioned yet, is the Porto jumpsuit, which I'm wearing, which I've got, this one is in viscose, which is what I intended them to be made in. Super cool, um, chic as well. I would wear this out for dinner. I'd wear it in the day, running around with Jasmine. I'd wear it to work. I really would wear this for anything. And you just change up the fabric to get that. I love this lovely little kind of fox pleat that's in the pocket. I really like that detail. I wanted to have that in this. I just realized that's open. <laughs> it's elasticated, the waist. And you've got this little tie that is a little kind of design feature. You can tie there. Inseam pockets, which with a jumpsuit, you absolutely need to have. Um, and it's a slightly tapered leg. Looks great with a flat, uh, with pumps, and also with a heel, actually. So um, again, I talk a bit more about that in the styling video. There's also a really nice turn up and with um, a bit of a nod to our Alex shirt dress from our first ebook. I've got the little tabs there, which I think keep it nice and casual as well. So I'm gonna start putting them on because I really think it's hard for you guys to see them. So I kind of talked you through the, the collection, but let me now put on some more of them so you can see them on me and I'll talk you through a little bit more of the design features on them. So here I am in the Sienna dress, guys. Oh my goodness, how much do I love this dress? It is my favorite strappy dress that I have designed to date. And um, I love the detail of the shearing at the back. I probably would normally wear this with a strapless bra, but actually this bra I thought was quite pretty, um, the straps together. Um, so as you can see, it's a fitted panel bodice. So we've got panels all the way around. The shearing panel is what keeps it fitted. Um, and also makes it really comfy. Um, no, nothing's digging in, there's no zips. Um, then we've got buttons all the way down, that's how you get in and out of it. Patch pockets, which I loved when I had it on in India, very, very practical. And you can make the straps uh, wider, or um, we've got an option for that. And they also come with adjustable um, instructions, so you can put these little adjustable sliders on, so you can adjust them like you would a bra strap, which makes the fitting easier. Now, let's put on, a Sorrento jacket because I just love this combination. I just think it looks absolutely fab. I've uh, rolled the sleeves up on this because I do love a denim jacket with the sleeves rolled up. But let's show you them down as well since they've been beautifully made. Um, so yeah, you can see the denim jacket. What I wanted to do is just slightly lower than my, longer than my waist, but that makes it more practical to wear with separates. But the fact that it's still tapered in it is flattering with the line of so many of these patterns, or all of them really. That is the line, as you know, that's almost like my signature line, nipped in waist, that's the shape that I like. But, you know, also if you're not got wearing it with something nipped in, then that's also fine. So yeah, love this. What a nice combo. Um, let me show you now the separates and what they look like. So I'll pop on now separates of the Sienna so you can see them interchange with some of the other bits. So here it is in separates. Um, so we've got the uh, skirt without the patch pockets, which I think makes it look a little bit more vintage, and the little cute top. Now, um, obviously the beauty of having separates is that you can make them in separate fabrics and I'll or different fabrics, and I'll show you this with the, so the Alba skirt later. Um, but I do also think it looks quite cute as a combination together. So yeah, really think that's pretty. Let's have a look at the length, because you probably can't see it there. Here I am, so you can see the length. So it's that lovely flattering length just below the knee that I always love. And I, you know, obviously you can make it shorter if you want to, but, or longer, but I really like that. Length. So this is a combination that I wore in the actual photo shoot. Um, and I love dark denim with white. I just think it looks great. Um, and it certainly dresses it down, doesn't it? So you've got the option of wearing the jacket with it if it's cooler, but also if you want to dress it down. So this is the uh, Sienna skirt again. 
this time with the patch pockets, this time also in um, a cotton, sorry, a viscose. Let me just get up on here so again you can see how pretty this is. We do have this fabric, whether it's sold out by now, I don't know, but we do have it in a few colours. I just think it's perfect for this. Um, and here I'm introducing another separate, which is the Ravello, which is the dress I started off this video in. But this is the Ravello top. And you can see wrap top, cute little tie there, but you can also move that round and have it tying at the back. So if you make this long enough, what you can do is you can move that round and you can tie it back there like that. And then you don't see that if you don't want to have the little tie at the front. Um, but I think with this combination, it is really cute. So yeah, pattern details. We've obviously got a bust start here. We've got a, like, it's almost like a grown on kimono sleeve, turn up, quite vintage this look. I think it's sort of got an almost flavor of 1940s more than 1950s, but I felt a little bit like a 1940s tourist, um, feeling very glamorous with my tan handbag and my sandals walking around this incredible palace in India. So yeah, and what I love about it is it's cool, but it also is the shoulders are covered. So if it is a hot day, you feel like you're quite covered, but you're also cool. Um, and here I've just interchanged, so kept the top, changed the bottoms. So here are the Porto trousers as separates. And again, I think this looks a lovely combination, lovely and cool, nice and covered up, great for pottering around in the daytime. Um, well, you know, obviously you can wear this in the evening as well. You can wear, wear whatever, but I feel like this is a really lovely classic day outfit. Um, and let's pop it on the denim Sorrento and just have a look at that. Um, for your cooler evenings or days. This looks really nice. And I'll tell you what I really like. There's a photo in the actual ebook of me in this with these trousers and this done up. I think this looks fab. So you can see, let's talk a little bit about the Sorrento as, as I've got it on. Lots of wonderful top stitching. We've got pockets, they're actually inside the pockets. Um, buttons, proper jeans buttons. Um, nice and cropped, but not too cropped. You can see it finishes, my natural waist is about here. So it's just finishing about an inch and a half below that. But what I love is look how lovely in shape that is really is lovely and flattering. I basically looked at all the denim jackets and just chose the elements of a denim, a classic denim jacket that I like and that suits those lines that I love. And I'm so, so pleased with it. Okay, again, same top, different bottoms. This is the Alba skirt, super simple wrap skirt. And what I wanted to show you is that I have ties, obviously with the wrap skirt, you've got the tie here. So what I've done is I've got at the back, tie there and I just think that's lovely I just love how they work together these two patterns and again I love how the denim jacket finishes it off um, as a lovely outfit for work for the day for evening whatever it is really really think it's special um, and really stylish and elegant so really like it with that I'm now going to change my top and keep my um, Alba skirt on and now I've got it on with the Sienna top in a lovely black linen. And what I wanted to show you in this is that how just by changing the top, just by changing the colour of the top, I've almost sort of just segued into evening wear. So this is what I'd wear on a nice evening, summer's evening, something um, a little bit sophisticated, but also cool. I feel like I am kind of quite bearing quite a lot, but I quite like the fact that, you know, it still feels elegant. Um, which as you know is really important to me um, and have a look at the back we've got that lovely shearing at the back um, which is really pretty and uh, of course it goes with a denim jacket as well so if you want if you are feeling a little bit like you've got quite a lot of you on show pop your denim jacket on and there you go right the last pattern I want to show you is this Alba but with the frill on and let's see how that changes it one more time. And here we are with the frill version. I feel like I just want to go dancing in this. A um, lot more swishability to it, a um, bit more sass to it. Um, but yeah, and obviously this fabric is patterned, so that makes it kind of feel a little bit more special. But wear this in a plain uh, rayon and it's going to feel different again. So, so many options, guys so much versatility and that's just what i have done with it or we have done with it 
Imagine what you can do. It's so important, guys, to share them using our hashtag SOI Summer Dreaming. And then we can all see and be inspired by what you're making. So all of our patterns are PDF. So when you get the ebook, just like with our other ones, you'll get all of the instructions, lay plans, etc., etc., and then you'll get the patterns. Now we now with all of our PDF patterns, you get them in uh, US letter size, A4 UK size, and also copy shop. So you can print them at home if you want to, or you can send them off to a copy shop um, printing service. Um, which we now offer as well, um, and get them printed. So if you want to get them printed, you can do that. You can say, print my PDFs. Um, and the link to that will be in the description box below. And if you want to, when you're buying this, you want us also to print everything for you, we can do that. And we're now shipping internationally for our coffee shop printing again. One final thing to say before you go, and thank you for staying with me all this time, guys, to see the full collection. It was worth it because I am gonna let you know that for the first week, we have got uh, five pounds off. So normally this will be 30 pounds, which I think is a steal for six patterns, sorry, for five patterns at six pounds, and with that size range, size six to size 30, who makes it 25 pounds this week instead of 30. And you can use the code SUMMERDREAMING5 and that will get you that discount up until midnight on the 16th of June. Guys, thanks for joining me. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I cannot wait to see all of your makes. And yeah, so, so excited to finally be talking about this. I'll see you soon. Bye.